sound advice. Thanks, DA. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out into the early season. And you're looking at Philadelphia. Off to a great start this season, currently at second. Here we go. And for Philadelphia, they had a few grades coming into the season. Shot selection largely dependent on getting open. Which players do the best job of moving, you think, right now without the ball? Period. Clay Thompson, 60 points, 11 dribbles. Did you hear me? I 60 got it. points, Shot. 11 dribbles. It almost looks like a doesn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> and you look at Joe L. B., maybe the best two way big man Chris in the NBA today. If there's anything he needs to work on, what would that be? Well, I still think that there's room for growth as far as. He's going to command double teams on a nightly basis. So it's all about taking advantage of the defense for sitting that extra man. The Nuggets have been yet missed a free throw. Five for five. That free throw good for Barton. Yeah, and I love the fans in Philly. You know, they're notoriously the tricky, though. Uh, they expect hard goals and effort. If not, they'll let you hear about it. And Philadelphia making a change here. Murray's checked in. Dub the pass to Murray. Stolen by Grant. Left of the way. And Plumlee kicks to Barton. Here's the tip drop. Excellent D there from Dub. As you're talking about the Philly fans, they were even booing their team in that conference semifinal round against Toronto. Yeah, they got nervous with the season on the line, and you can't take it personal. In Philly, they love you just as much as they do. Grant outside. Pass to Harris. Goes up the baseline. It's good. Harris has got five. Poor design there defensively. They, they know he's a knockdown shooter from that spot. But yeah, that's one of his go to spots. I mean, you, you have to pressure him in that mid range area. Here's Tom. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. They don't have last so far. It hasn't even been close. Gray kicks to Grant. Good ball movement here by the Nuggets. 36 seconds left to play here in the first. Feeds away. Plumlee, no luck. Oh, that movement is good, and they get the ball into the right hand. Now, usually, he drops those in between jumps. Here's Harris. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Dump the pass to Embiid. Dump, Hardy Myers, and Embiid throws it down. Wow, he's an elite scorer with impressive reference while Embiid is outstanding at knowing when to exert his will on offense. At the forward slots, it's Barton and Milton. The backcourt is Murray and Harris. And oh, that was a strong oh, oh, you go home. Versatility of Simmons, astounding, amazing, impressive. Dunks like this are just insane. Murray, the pass to Jokic. Harris outside. Offline with his three. Looking at Denver, they want to turn it around after the loss to the Heat. Here's MB. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Superb focus from the big man and beat. I mean, you really have to whack him. To prevent the bucket. Uh, I'm not really sure I've ever seen a center who can play bully ball in the paint and step out and hit the three and give you the handles and the mix like Joel and I mean, him and Boogie Cousins are, are really the only two that, that come to mind. Down low, here's Tom, and it's Denver with the rebound. He's got good position down low, but still forces it in the face of some very tight defense. Martin with it, and it's Richardson picking him up. No set misses. And even though Embiid has that deep range, he prefers to throw his weight around inside. Man, and he should, Kevin. And at times, the lack of space, he's forced him to step outside. He's as gifted as you can get on that block. I mean, you got to get him the ball down there with space to work. That's size winning out. I mean, he needed every single inch to haul in that rebound. Horford goes in. 
That one falls, his second basket of the game. He's now two for three. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just a great ball move. Jokic, no good. If he was shooting even a little bit better, the story of this game would be a lot different. Inside, here's Tubb. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got three assists tonight. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Here's Barkley. Last game we saw him score 14. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And Denver decides to take their first time out here. And this summer, a five-year, $170 million max contract extension for Ben Simmons. Nine seconds left now here in the second. Simmons left side, and he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And the Denver Nuggets get called for the foul. Awesome. Inside. The quick feet of Simmons are hard to keep up with on the drive. And Simmons drops a ball. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers leading by a full 31 points at the end of the quarter. They've been playing some... After a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little. check in for Gary Harris. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. Taking a look at the 76ers. Harris and Embiid together in the middle. Then it's Dub. Then it's Robinson. And it's Feibel in at the two-guard spot. Murray, the pass to Millsap. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. 11 points for Millsap. The shooting has really been there for him today, but he may have to take it upon himself oh, to continue to carry the scene and try to get out of this hole. And now a chance to see what's coming up for the Denver Nuggets. On Sunday, they'll take on Carl Anthony Towns and the Minnesota Timberwolves. Then on Tuesday, the Atlanta Hawks come to town. That will tip off a homestand for them. And looking at the schedule, it isn't ideal in terms of the upcoming games with the amount of quality teams that are going to be playing, but it's also a good chance for you to get some confidence and, and really see just how good you are. Offensive rebound. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. Here's the break. Moving it up. And the basket by Harris. Harris has got 11. He had to battle through some tough shooting problems in the first half. I mean, give him credit. It's been much easier for him in the second. There's the steal. Here's Tug. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to be on Jamal Murray. The shoe culture becoming a bigger part of the game. Signature shoes, custom shoes, collections. P.J. Tucker with over 4,000 pairs of shoes. See, where were you a collector? I love it. And it's all because of the Jordan phenomenon. What Michael Jordan did for the game. Not just for the shoot, but what he did for the game. And making it be so cool in the culture. I, I got to give uh, my boys in Michigan, I got to give us a little credit, too, uh, with what we did there. But the shoe game has definitely become something that's just crazy out of control. I love it, but no, yeah, I'm a little bit of a collector. <laughs> okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Kevin, Josh Richardson has made himself into one of the top defensive wings in the league. Richardson says there's a certain competitiveness that comes with being a good defender. The defensive end takes will, and I have a lot of it. Kevin J. Rich is self-described as super competitive. That edge is what drives him. It sure is. That's what it takes. Thank you, David. Grant outside. And there's the foul. It'll go on top. There's 154 left in the fourth quarter. 
And now the 76ers on the break. Doing out the wings, Harris and Barton. Jokic is out there at Plumlee, and it's Curry in at the one spot. That's the group on the floor for Denver. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And how about then not settling? I mean, instead of being lazy with the shot selection, they go right to the rim. A great the rapid ascension of Nikola Jokic into NBA stardom has been nothing short of amazing. You know, he really is an elite center now. I mean, he's the best player on a very talented young team in the West. I would not be surprised to see him win an MVP in the next few years. And so it's Barton bringing it up for the Nuggets. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the 76ers. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, uh, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And so with this win, they'll move to six victories on the season. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Joel Embiid. They needed someone to do the heavy lifting tonight, and he was their man. Scoring every play he knows how. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Now the 76ers with it. To the inside. Here's O'Quinn. That shot, no good. And, and he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Oh. Excellent. The avoiding foul and got the perfect position to alter the shot. Oh, doesn't have to break stride at all thanks to the money lead pass. Back to Embiid. Here's Tubb. The offensive rebound. So it's Philadelphia winning this one easily. This one was overwhelming. They sure did. I mean, they just rolled into this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance of both of them. And that's going to do it tonight, folks. For our broadcast, for Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge. This is Kyle nice for the winning streak for Jay and Company here, which makes this all winners hang. Yeah, look, they're playing well, but let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. What? Why not? Okay, here's why. I've seen people on social media acting like these guys are never going to lose again.